Make sure you loosen the correct set screw. And that's the one right back here in the corner. It's going to be much easier if you take off this front piece. And then manually insert the thermistor into the hole so you don't risk break, you know, breaking anything. Make sure you pull out the correct wires. I originally thought the ones that had this um, connection back here was for the thermistor, but it ended up being this guy. So just pull it up slowly through the slot, and there it is. Yep, as you can see, it provided some strain relief, so I was able to get that in there without possibly damaging the component. So insert into that hole and tighten the set screw and put this guy back together, then we can finish feeding it back to the motherboard. So on second thought, instead of going back to the motherboard with this new thermistor lead, I'm going to try a couple of these guys and just go ahead and cut the old wire around here uh, to give it some slack and then cut the new one appropriately too uh, so I can terminate them right here. So in, in the event that I have to replace this thermistor again, I won't have to go through the trouble of running it all the way back down uh, to the bottom. Well, plan B didn't work with this guy because the wires were too thin, especially this new thermistor lead, so it didn't even cut through. And then I had a couple of these guys laying around, but this, again, was not even the right size. So plan D is I'm just going to go ahead, twist them up, throw a dab of solder on each one of them, and then put some shrink wrap and call it a day. All right, got those guys all tidied up at least the connections, I I'll make it neater later. And then swing on over, and after a few minutes, we got some heating. So this is looking good.